Hey guys, welcome back to the construction site. Today we're opening a booster box of Brilliant Stars. And let's see how good this box is going to be. Hey guys, we are back here in the construction site. Today I'm going to be opening my brilliant stars booster box this is going to be my first ever booster box openings bread whatever you want to call it um well we know where the chase cars in here are hoping i could get one of those charizards maybe the charizard alternate artwork but if i don't the set still has some beautiful cards in it and we're here, you know, getting this box open, looking nice. Got Shaman, Shaman up front. At least they gave Shaman some loves. But you know, my favorite Pokemon is Polyrath. Hopefully, we get a set that gives Polyrath some love, you know, old school, water type. So I'm gonna pick out um, some packs here, at least about six of them, um, randomly, where you would See these packs now return in the Knights vs. Champs shirts that you normally see. Um, where we have Team Knight vs. Team Champs. Sometimes it be more than one booster pack. Sometimes it be one booster pack. But we we'll order them in and we'll see. So we're off to the first pack here. And we see what we can get here in this first pack. No, I'm not a professional like Rev. And these guys opening these packs sometimes be terrible for me, man. When they see a terrible, terrible. But it is what it is. Put the code card one side. Let's go through this. No Patrick. Oh no, no way. No way. The first card. The first card. As right Rev would say, woo! Charizard, here we go. And if this is the first pack and the first pull, what does this booster box hold for us guys in today's video? First pack, first pack out the gate, first booster pack out the gate. Yes, I try to organize them, um, put the reverses and the hollows. Um, so separate so that when it comes to starting at a later date, you know, if I ever decide that I want to do a complete binder, I know if I would ever want to do a complete binder, this brilliant star. So, because this this set large now, outside of it being large, um, to open and pull every card may be a task. So, we're going through here with Patrick. We see what pack number two, Grimer, Kaflary, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Electivire Reverse, and the Cream Cake Pie. All Creamy. Nah. I was never a fan of All Creamy. I, f I find that Pokemon's come with uh, some, some real uh, rare designs sometimes. I guess you gotta put a design in there for everybody, so... Why not let's turn something that's inanimate into a Pokemon? Hopefully um, next we could have a perfume Pokemon or something. <laughs> Alright, next pop. White cold card. So we know this may not have any nada. But you could still get something from the card career set. Trainer Gallery, as you call it. Let's see a Bell Toy, Snorant, Nose Pass, Big Nose, <laughs> and SQ. Reverse Hollow once again. Nada. Uh, just put the cards one side. But to start off with the Charizard, Charizard guys, that is a beautiful start. It's been cool since the Charizard, but I would take that start there. That's a great start. That's a great start. 
was going to be our next hit, guys. I think it's going to be a trainer gallery or a regular V. Yeah. Patrick. And let's go. We got hunting gloves. We got bear tech. We got float zil. We got ch cherubi. Sock. Corefish. Golet. Chimeco. A margram. Reverse on a lot rare. Once again, not a. I'm also on the channel, guys. To know you're gonna see me outside of just opening packs. I'm gonna be diving into the nuts locking. Um, you could join me on Twitch, where I would be running the nuts locks for about two hours. Um, I haven't put out a schedule as yet, but once you go on Twitch, you will find the schedule when I officially put the schedule and. You could come and see some of those Nuzlocke lives and chill and let's build the community who like to relax and chill and enjoy Pokemon on the construction site. Yeah, so I ain't a Nuzlocke. Uh, I, I just love, I just love Nuzlocke. Alright, so our next card is another V-Star. Just the regular Shaman. Another hit, so two V star hits first. Not bad, not bad. Now I sleeve up all my cards. Um, whether it be a V star, whether it be a regular V, I sleeve them up. You know, just just practicing keeping the cards uh, from getting any harm done to them. But as I was saying, yeah, I enter Nuzlocke. Um, Nuzlocke is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I, I don't know why it took me so long to find it. But I just like the fact that I could play over the Pokemon game with a set of rules. And it becomes more difficult. Uh, it becomes more enjoyable and I can have fun. I invite you guys to come and watch and have fun with me too. Alright, so I have the the Danny character character rare. Looking nice. I like this card. It's, it's pretty beautiful card in terms of how it looks. Yeah, so also for me uh, getting the cards to open isn't as easy as it may be for other people because they don't have Walmarts and Targets that I could just walk and go in. I have to order them and hope that they get here to me. And because I'm all the way in Barbados, beautiful place. Anytime you have a chance, you're planning a vacation, you could come down and enjoy some nice white sandy beaches and some good nice warm weather a nice breeze beautiful place good culture get some coconut water go oysters and get some fish and chips looking and enjoying yourself far fetch shout out to real breaking it that's his favorite artist tumakazu electrovire reverse and a Zeru V. Uh, just a regular V card. Nonetheless. Pokemon has come so far. I remember back in the day when I would have been opening my first packs of Pokemon cards. I would have been so excited when we get a hollow. You know, a fossil and jungle and team rocket. And I remember I was trying to get Dark Charizard so bad. One well, of my friends pulled Dark Charizard. It was so mad. I couldn't get Dark Charizard at all. But I remember I had BSX Charizard, the regular one. Uh, not first edition Shadowless. It was just not right, the regular Charizard. 
but I remember having that and then I just wanted to get this rocket dark Charizard. I thought that dark Charizard looked so cool and it's so amazing that even though Pikachu was the mascot of Pokemon with Ash that people just fall in love with Charizard like Charizard just became the Pokemon but I guess that's because Charizard represent a dragon and people just love dragons but this box has been pretty okay so far um, it, was, uh, it feels to live on the hype that was the rainbow Charizard V star as the first card but to pull a Charizard and to pull the rainbow Charizard at that is good fire energy team yell Sincino cleansing gloves Cherubi Swalk Corfish Well this feel like a pot I just opened Golat This seems like the same exact pot fan Chimaco Like the cards are the same exact way Yeah that's uh, I like that artwork That's what it was showing you Royolo And uh, Escalivar So another cool pop, nonetheless. Well, I like this um this this desk map. It's because it's going magic card, Gardos and Lapras. You know, some of the the first water Pokemon that we did love in the game. I remember when you first got magic card, and it was like magic card is so much trash because it just has splash. And uh, you just had to either give it EXP share or send it out and withdraw and have your other Pokemon game beat up just to continue to le level up. And actually one of me and one of my friends was Pro Pass. Pro Pass, the bigger nose with a mustache. Me and one of my friends were talking about mm, the missing number. Or Masengo. That's what we used to call it when we were younger. Masengo. Well, the missing number. We're going to surf up and down until you see it. And it used to multiply whatever item you had in slot number 7, I think it was. Yeah. That was a built-in glitch. A built-in glitch that used to help you to get Pokemon level 100. Let me tell you. From the time you learn about that, you never used to use your Master Ball. You never used to use your Rare Candy. You just keep it until you get to that part. And then you're going to do what you're supposed to do. Fly and come back. I can't even remember. Actually, Pokemon at that time, especially when Gold and Silver come out and you had Gen 2. was amazing. Because I remember using Lock On on somebody that use fly so i do lock on and then they use fly and then they use guillotine and they got the fly in the air and it was like whoa that that was totally awesome because i didn't even expect it to happen my cash farm chub cool like this design for chub cool like anybody is anybody realize that this is just his snot that frozen that just be there swimming like like uh, it like it's, it's uh, it just gross and it's just bothersome. So um, still going through. Last hit we got was the roof. Still pretty cool so far. Wonder more than likely those some of those six packs that were pull out for the Knights versus Champs going to be hits involving those for sure so we got execute friends and geller revel execute grimer clefairy badoof electabuzz reverse holler blunder policy and a gramble v gramble i forget all about gramble like 
actually maybe that could be a Nuzlocke that I could do for um, Sword and Shield with Dog Pokemon or only. So we got Grumble and the Legendary Dogs. And Bolton V. And Bolton. And I guess the road, the dog farm. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoying this booster box opening. Um, as I said, it's my first booster box opening. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell Pokemon cards down here. Um, I hope I could be that change in the near future. And you got the kids down this side of the, down this side of the Caribbean to get back into Pokemon collecting because I guess they ain't know much about Pokemon cards now other than those who find the old school. But we got Inferno Hollow. Almost feel like this is the first hollow that we see in a little while. Or we see at all being getting on hollows. So we get a hollow. And I, I sleep at hollows too. Much people don't sleep at hollows, but in my mind before there was V cards and EXs and all these other cards, there was hollows. So I feel like we could still put some respect on hollow. But now we know with the new set, Scarlet and Violet seems to be a hollow in every pack. And two reverses. So now we about hollows, about to get another downgrade. At least here in these, you will get one or two hollows in a pot but no every pot with scarlet and violet going to be a hollow is really don't go right in the hollow and alter a normal card but i guess it is not now that the hollows fall off being off for uh, a good little well but lay part and then we got morphing non-hollow rare and we continue on this booster box um, we about half in this booster box opening white core card more pain but I don't know why it was why you still do the back trick when you see a white core card ain't nothing coming out of there son not one thing coming out of there trough Shroomish, Piplup, Turt Twig, Sneasel, Mike Mortar. But you know, right? In most cards that you see, especially in the, like, they got special character rares that, and um, Scarlet and Violet or Crown Zenith. I just Scarlet and Violet or Crown Zenith rare. Electrify and Mike Mortar in the same in the same same picture and there we see it again just now with the Mike Mortar card but I feel like they've got Electrify and Mike Mortar together all the time I know in the Pokedex Electrify and Mike Mortar was close together but tsh, I feel like them is having a close every time now Chimchar man the legend that is Chimchar Mincino Baltoy Snorant Corefish and Lapras. Feel will ever give Lapras Lapras a dollar farm? Uh, you can let me know down in the comments if you think. I think there's a good time to tell you guys, you know, if you're enjoying the video, like and if you want to see more of my content, subscribe down below um, let's see a hit can we get a hit out of this card just a quick little review so far these is the hits that we got so far but the number one hit was your boy charizard in the first pot i think that the box set me up but who knows the box might heat back up at the hand, you know, beginning and end. 
beginning and end is where we may go here now. Oh, we got something. I see something on the back. You know, that's look like a regular V card. Cynthia admission. Hmm. My two favorite girls, you know, I know everybody about the the waifus, but Cynthia and Thick Vicky, they are my two favorite waifus. And we get Agron V, a regular Agron V. Send her in on this Agron V, don't look too bad, but I really upset because. It was just there peeping at the centering just now when it was showing you the review and um Charizard look off on the right hand side. Terrible Pokemon. You just make it so difficult for a guy, a good honest guy to get a a ten. And also you can leave it down in the comments if you when they do further videos if you want me to give away the code cards. Well, could give away the code cards when they open the packs. Show the code cards so you guys uh, get it. Turquoise reverse hollow and light park non hollow rare coming long now. Should be soon, soon finished. That's a few more packs. A few more packs and Charizard being the best card that we we got so far Patrick we off here lightning energy bear tech fox rare dusk lots core fish magmar spirit tomb burmy impedent electric buzz and heat run Another non hollow rare. I feel like we got a lot of non hollow rares in this, so we ain't got a lot of um, hollow rares at all in this in this booster box. Not a lot. I believe that we could have gotten so much more to just give us one. I think Infernit is the only one that we saw so far. I ain't even sure. I really wasn't paying it in the mind at all. So we got Bevel, Kindler, Chimaco, Chimchar, Mincino, Baltoy, Snorant, Royolu, and Muck. 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 Any boy realize like the alone version of Muck is it's just pretty garbage. What do you think happened with Muck? You know? Well, it's not garbage. Cause muck ain't garbage. Muck is like more like a slime, I guess. So really and truly, muck is a lawn muck is just slime with food dye in it. If you think about it, just a food dye. Monfern or Sir Smoosh, Piplup, Purloin. Where's my loins? Sneasel, Chimeco, Babaro. Big Barrel, another hollow, rare, this is probably number two, and yes guys, I said it, I do sleeve hollows, I don't, don't ask me why I just do, it's just a thing the foreman does, but I may start sleeving them off screen, you know, I just went, so I don't feel pressured. <laughs> I don't feel pressured, guys. I don't want to feel pressured. Morgan Clear Doll. Clear Doll, you Clear Doll is a sick looking Pokemon, you know. Like like really like you know we gotta start having conversations. Tell me if you would like to see it. You know I put it at the end of a video, maybe like a little two minute session where we discuss a Pokemon in real life like if you was to see this pokemon in real life what your thoughts would be if you think like cute and cuddly or you would think like monstrous 
when you know and you could actually be the persons who come up with the title for that two minute session at the end of the videos where we can have it a segment maybe i could do my animated style for it let the bus chain back oh yes i could do gibble i could do you know my animated segment or maybe i could do it as a shirt an animated shirt yes guys i do i do anime i dabble in a lot of things i don't say they got anything i master so far but i dabble in a, a lot of things i i've been and that's probably one of the reasons but i told myself i have to start back just start back so i can try to put out at least three between three and four videos a week no the ones that may take the longest may be the nuzlocks because that gonna be dependent on how fast I get through a nuzlocke so it might take me like a week and a half to get through and complete a nuzlocke all depends on how much things I had to start over and I get the nuzlocking so my first nuzlocke that is starting gonna be a water nuzlocke on a water nuzlocke on Pokemon Scarlet and I gonna be doing it so like most people who nuzlocke already went through the game play through maybe no moves like I doing this nuzlocke with no research to be my first nuzlocke video and um, I probably gonna fail probably gonna fail but maybe I might pass who knows but yeah so I can be doing it as a first time doing a Nuzlocke oh we got something here <gasps> we have Garchomp Hollow and from the trainer gallery we got Rapid, Rapid Strike Style Mustard a guy fool a guy fool ain't nobody want a guy fools but it's another hit guys and uh, we have Cynthia's favorite dragon Garchomp it's mine too I like Garchomp Garchomp from the first time I saw Garchomp I did love Garchomp I also love um, Noivern as well like I feel like those are two well designed Pokemons um, I feel like Dragon could have been a well is a great design but because they decided to give it a name that sounds so much like a Digimon he just have the Digimon stigma on him now but we ain't dissing Dig Digimon because we all grew up watching Digimon too and Digimon has its fans and they are well within their rights Digimon isn't a Pokemon, but Digimon is great for what it is, and I love Digimon as well too. My favorite Digimon was War Grandma. So we down to the last four packs, guys. And we got all four pack artworks here. So we gonna open the Charizard pack last. So let's see what we could get in these last four packs here, guys. It's or is are we going to end on a bang or we're gonna end cool look like I saw something in this particular pot but we'll see we got clear doll fresh water cafe master cast farm chimchar bell toy axu nose pass rock sand oh and we have the full art luminion V so we pick up the full art Nominion V. I remember watching Rev opening Brilliant Stars to complete and couldn't get the regular Nominion alternate artwork. Sorry, I like it giving her it. But you got to show talk to your boy Rev. You always do good works with his videos. He does. 
and I could only hope that I could be as good as some of the people that I like to watch and bring you the content that you will enjoy watching as much as I enjoy watching some of these persons. So for those who didn't hear, this is the last four parts. And we got Shaman V or right, two hits out of four. That's not bad. It's looking good guys. Two hits out of four. Yes, I know I sleeving up. I'm not I'm not your boy, the CTR. CTR absolute legend. <laughs> we know that he he treats the V cards and those are things rough. Those are not hits to him. He right now the only hit that he would have kept from this box here right now is the rainbow charts are right? the character rares and so forth all of those v cards would have been going in the trash can but we love him he gives an adult spin to pokemon cards opening so you could check out your boy ctr i know none of these people that i call know me are I have any affiliations with I just any of the people that I like to watch who I enjoy watching and who kind of inspired me to continue and don't really give up and I mean this is just something I like doing I like opening Pokemon cards and collecting and I like playing Pokemon I like playing Pokemon and Nuzlocke gives me an opportunity to to play through more than one time and I get the shirt with y'all and we could just come and chill and chat and talk and enjoy the Nuzlocke session so once again you can check me on Twitch the link will be down below for the Twitch channel you come and check it out and see the schedule so we ending on a Lucario Hollow so two out of four hits that wasn't bad a nice Lucario hollow and I hope you guys enjoy these were the last four hits to add to the pile of hits and judging by these hits we definitely got some hits in those other six but by the best card was the rainbow Charizard of course and probably the aluminium V and the mustard and then the shaman and the character area. Yeah, so we got some good hits out of my first box. My first opening. Hope you guys enjoyed this opening. And remember to stay positive. Enjoy life. Thanks for joining me here on the construction site. Foreman out. Oh.